Okay, we are getting closer to the home stretch of the season and Liverpool and Manchester United keep dropping points. Hello there and welcome to Season 3, Episode 7 of Let's Go Hammers. I'm Stubo. Thank you very much for joining me for today's edition where we are going to be playing Athletic Bilbao in the second leg of the Champions League quarterfinal and Newcastle in the FA Cup semi-final as well. If all of that sounds very exciting for you, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more Football Manager awesomeness. Since you were last with me, uh, we've continued doing what we've been doing and that is winning football games. Uh, it keeps doing this, I don't know. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, the last time you guys were with us, I think, was the Manchester City game, which we won on penalties. Uh, since then, we have beaten Watford 2-1 in the league. Uh, we smashed Athletic Bilbao in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinal 4-1. And then we beat Burnley 5-1 in the Premier League as well. Plenty of goals, plenty of fun has had, has, 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 has been had by all. I can't speak, I'm so excited. Um, the Premier League table is looking very tasty at the moment. We have six games left, and we are currently uh, six points... Is that five? Six or five points? Five points ahead of Manchester United. Sorry, I can't add up. Five points ahead of Manchester United with a game in hand. But crucially, we are 13 points. I was say 11 points. 13 points ahead of Liverpool. Now, they do have a game in hand. And if they win that game in hand, uh, then they'll be 11 points behind us. No, they're 14 points behind us at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, so they win that game in hand. They're still 11 points behind us. We're nearly at the point where Liverpool are almost a non-factor in the title race. Manchester United, again, have played a game in more of us already. So, oh, I, they keep I mean, they keep dropping points. That's the thing. I mean, we're still unbeaten, which is madness in itself. But as you can see, uh, where is the Liverpool game that they lost? They lost against someone, and I can't remember who it was. Uh, Liverpool, where are you? Where are you? There you go. That was the biggest one, the most recent one. Southampton 4, Liverpool 1. Uh, Manchester United, I don't think he'll drop points for a while, actually. They dropped their points a little bit earlier. Yeah, they beat they beat Tottenham Hotspur, so it wasn't that one. Um, but yeah, the title race is nuts. It's absolutely insane. On top of that, we've had a really favourable quarterfinal Champions League draw. We're ahead against Bilbao. If we win the game, we will go through... I can't remember who it is against. I think it is... It's against Dortmund or Real Madrid. I think it's going to be Dortmund looking at that. In fact, it is going to be Dortmund looking at that because that is the uh, the game over and done with. So, it will be a tie against their Borussia Dortmund side who are currently second in the Bundesliga, managed by Wolfgang Schneider, uh, captained by Matt Hummels, and Marco Royce is still there, but Jude Bellingham, I imagine, is an absolute superstar at this point. Jesus Christ, look at him. Look at him! How's that fair? My goodness me, what a player he looks like. Um, so yeah, we've uh, we've got some work to do if we get through this game. But the important thing is to make sure we do get through this game. We are at a goal advantage, four goals to one to be exact. So fingers crossed, we can capitalise on that achievement. Fingers crossed. Here is the 11 that is hopefully going to be taking us through to the semi-finals. It's Lafont in goal, Livramento, Mancini, Zuma and Christiansen in defence, Tillemans and Rice in midfield with Alvarez, Hadji and Zakarian supporting Brenner up front. Uh, Benjamin Sesko, by the way, has started to score a few more goals. He has four goals in, I don't know how many appearances now, uh, well, three and eight in the league. He's got a few more appearances as well. We need to have a chat with him about his development, actually, because that's not looking good, is it? But he has started to play a little bit better for us, which has been nice to see. Um, but not well enough, obviously, for him to start. It is also important to note that we're starting Alvarez on the right-hand side. That's mainly because Madueke hasn't been that good recently. He did have a good game not that long ago, actually, but he just hasn't been looking good. And Alvarez, as well, has been... I would say playing better and he's worthy of a, of a place in the team. So that's the 11. We're going with it. And we're going to hopefully get through to the next round. Unless Athletic Bilbao pulls something out of the hat. So without any further ado, let's go. Say I am a little bit nervous is a bit of an understatement. However, at the end of the day, we're in amazing form. They're not. We beat them last time we played them. We just need to have a bit of confidence in ourselves, I think. And we have got a more than good enough starting 11 to do this, I think. Uh, the hope is that we can just do what we need to do to get past them. A draw's fine. 1-0 win's fine. I'd rather us not lose, but I'll take a loss as long as it's not by three or more goals. Um, we are at their place as well. It's the way around I prefer these games not to be. Um, I always like having the home game in the second leg, but 
we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, we can uh, we can still take advantage of this game. At the moment, we are playing quite well. We are having most of the possession. We're not actually having many shots on target. As soon as I say that, we have two. So, that's okay. Uh, no highlights as of yet. Do you know what? I'll take a highlight of this game. I rarely don't like them. To, I rarely like them. To, I rarely don't like them. That doesn't make any sense. I rarely like highlightless games. I'll take one today because it means that we'll go through without any fuss. Uh, we are starting to tire a bit, but then again, so are they. And we actually do make it through to half time without any highlights, which is pref preferable for me, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll say that one. Let's. Oh, I didn't want to say that. Ooh, well, yeah, we've probably just completely ruined the team there. Uh, we've completely ruined Kurt Zuma. Uh, Brenner and Alvarez are not playing very well. Annoyingly, I don't really know which one I'd take off first choice, to be honest with you. Um, let's take off Alvarez. He's not really been on a good run recently. And we'll tell you what, let's bring on Madueke. I was going to bring on Bowen, but Bowen's still a little bit tired. So uh, we'll bring on Madueke. And we'll make sure that he has been spoken to. Chris Jansen's demotivated. I don't really understand why, to be honest with you. Um, I've just thought I've got the camera set up wrong. Do you know what? Let's watch this highlight at a different camera angle. We don't normally watch it from this angle. Let's just watch it and see what happens. Tillemans gets it into Zakarian. Zakarian gets it back to Chris Jansen. Chris Jansen whips it in, looking for Madueke. Madueke makes it 1-0, but it might be disallowed. Possibly. Wait for the referee to make his decision. Are we getting a goal here? Or is the VAR man in his ear going to be disallowing it? Nope. It's a goal. Yay. Um, that's pretty much just through to the next round of the Champions League, I think. Zakarian gets the ball here. Gets it back to Christiansen. Christiansen chips it over. Looking for Madueke on the far post. We've seen that goal many times. I have to change the camera angle. I did not enjoy that, I have to say. Uh, camera angle changed. And just like that, with a goal ahead have a look at what the potential offside was it was oh it was tight it was very very tight but it's judged to not have been an offside and we lead one goal to nil in bilbao marvelous had you now whips in looking for the head of mancini mancini heads it just over looking for the opportunity to make it two goals to nil don't need two goals i'm quite happy with the one that we've got that will do plenty um oh. This team is so good. Like, this West Ham team should not be as good as it is, but I'm so happy with the balance that we've got with the players. Like, we just seem to have good players in every position times two, which is great. Um, Hadji and Sakari having a game in their own. Hadji, by the way, is finally completely happy with me again. It's taken a little while um, after a couple of issues with... Uh, oh, Inyaki Williams. Um, a couple of issues with uh, transfer fees and stuff like that. Like, he wanted to leave, but then he wasn't happy with the amount that we were trying to get for him. We finally moved past that, which I'm very happy to say. Um, and hopefully it means that for the rest of the season, he will be at his best. He has been really good recently. Today's a great example, actually. He's on a 7.4. He's having a good time. Hopefully he can continue with that. Um, hopefully we can get another goal. We don't need another goal, but I would quite like to win this game and put it beyond doubt at this point. Zakarian now. Looking for options. Gets it back to Christiansen. Into Declan Rice. Rice. Back to Christiansen. Christiansen. Just, just let me pass it around, boys. I really don't mind. I'd like a second goal, but it's not ideal. So it's not preferable. It, it is ideal. You guys know what I mean, right? I mean, it's amazing that this team has done as well as they have with my poor communication skills, to be honest with you. Rice now. <sighs> tries to get it through, but can't quite. Had you now. Into Madueke. Madueke. Back to Declan Rice. Over, back to Madueke, gets it to Livermento. Livermento's going to look to whip it in. Or, might look for someone else. No, he does whip it in. And the header was there. I don't know if it was Zakarian or Brenner. I'm not too sure. But if it was Brenner, it's his last act of the game. Sesco is on the pitch. And we'll see whether he can do it in front of the cameras. Because I don't know whether he scored in front of you guys yet. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll make that final change now. Zakarian is quite tired. That's his Zuma. But we'll bring Zakarian off. Uh, mm, no, do we? Uh, we might not, actually. I think we'll keep Zakarian on. And we'll actually take off Kurt Zuma and we'll bring Issa Diop on. We'll swap him and Mancini around and we'll go with that as a final change. That'll do plenty. And let's just see out the last bit of the game now, if that's okay, boys. Um, in fact, we'll let this highlight run and then I'm going to make a couple of tactical tweaks just to try and save the legs of some of the players. Uh, the two Williams is up front, it looks like. And Inyaki Williams is in. And Inyaki Williams has made it 1-1 on the night. It's not going to matter in the slightest. We're just going to time waste. We're just going to drop the tempo a little bit. Just pass the ball around. We're not going to worry too much about anything now. Drop this down. We'll drop the width as well. And I think we'll just uh, 
Just keep the ball, I think. We'll try and keep the ball and just try and frustrate them a little bit because we're already through. They've got to make three goals up in five minutes. It's not going to happen. I'm even going to go down to balance. I'll never go down to balance. But I just don't want us to be playing at a really high tempo when we don't need to be. Like, we might as well just keep the ball now and just pass it around a bit. Let's not worry about running. Let's just pass the ball. Let's just be as safe with it as possible. Um, although we are still advancing here, um, Livramento actually left the ball out. I've never seen that on FM. I don't know whether that's something that's quite common. I've never seen a player not go for the ball because they'd be offside. That's quite nice. If that's new or if that's just something that doesn't come up very often, either way, football manager, I like it. I like it a lot because that is quite realistic. That does happen every now and then. And Yaki Williams has scored. Um, I'm going to demand more from the players because that's a bit frustrating. I'm going to go positive again. I don't really want to lose this game because of the momentum that it will, uh, it will rob us of. But... It's not an important game. I mean, they've got to make up two, three goals very, very quickly. And I don't think they are going to do it. I think we are good enough to see the rest of this game out. Uh, at the end of the day, Bilbao have got through to a quarter final. They have to be treated with respects as a decent team. But we know we're better than them. Ah, Sesco's pass was not very good there. And we're getting a little bit complacent in this last little period. And it's a bit frustrating. Right, how do you get to Sesco? Sesco back to... No, he gets to Zakari, in fact. Into Madueke. Madueke makes it 2-2 on the night. And that will do plenty. I will happily take 2-2 against this Bilbao side. Um, the keeper, Unai Simon, has made a bit of a hash of it there. Um, the same way Lafont's made a bit of a hash of it tonight as well. In fact, we're going to shout at him and just berate him a little bit um because he really should have done better in this game but we are going to be through to the champions league semi-final against Borussia Dortmund I have a feeling that our champions league journey for this season might not be going much further than that um if it does great though I mean I would be very happy if it does but I don't see it happening Yaki Williams has just done a wonderful finish there but the referee is questioning whether it's onside or not I didn't necessarily think it was offside when I saw the goal go in it doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't an offside in there. There isn't, though, and it is going to be 3-2. We are going to lose this game, but we are already through. I am actually going to berate the team. I'm not very happy with the fact that we lost that game, um, and we'll say that one there. We'll have a shout at a few players as well. But we are through. That is the main thing. Battering them in the first leg was the most important thing there, and we do go through in the Champions League to the semi-final against Borussia Dortmund. That is going to be a spicy meatball of a game. And I do not know whether we are going to get past Dortmund or not. Probably not, I would suggest. Right. Next game is going to be against... Uh, it's going to be one of the Newcastle games. Because we have got them coming up back to back. We're going to do the FA Cup semi-final against them. We'll leave the episode there. And then we'll work out exactly what we're going to do for the next episode. Because the, the Champions League semi-final has kind of thrown what my original plan was. So, we're going to play the Newcastle game. And then we'll decide after that. So... I'm going to advance forward. I'll see you in a moment. And just like that, we're here for the FA Cup semi-final against Newcastle United. And this is the 11 we are going to be, hopefully, using to get to a second final in a row. It's going to be Lafont in goal, Justin Diop, Zuma and Christiansen in defence with uh, Tinemans and Sushek in midfield with Madueke, Hadji and Ivanisech supporting Alvarez up front. Didn't really know who to go with, Alvarez or Brenner, so I decided I was going to go with Benjamin Sesko. As you can see didn't really happen man's injured not ideal so this is the team we're going with a lot of them played very well in the last game we're hoping that they can do the same we've rotated as well a little bit we're keeping Lafont in goal despite the absolute shocker of a game he had in the last one he's not had the best run recently really actually so maybe we need to consider giving where is Rico Rico's not even on the bench change that just in case um yeah maybe we need to consider uh moving that around actually Livermento can go on the bench as well uh no actually do you know what it's fine Angelina can do it as well I'm gonna stop changing things and we're gonna get into this game um uh, so yeah Newcastle versus West Ham United FA Cup semi-final let's go we should really have them in this game they've not got the best form in the last five games interestingly enough the day I'm recording this there are rumors that Kieran Trippier has actually uh the transfer fee has been agreed between Atletico Madrid and Newcastle. So it's interesting to see him already in the Newcastle team in this save. Um, but yeah, this is a team we should be beating. However, that has not stopped us from not beating teams before. Um, hopefully, however, this is not going to be one of those occasions and we can just get straight past them. And Julian Alvarez can just nod us one nil ahead in the first few minutes. The referee is having a check. That does suggest to me that maybe, just maybe, we won't be going ahead. It would be lovely if we can, though. Referee Ellis Dixon decides that it is not going to count. That is not ideal. 
Um, I'm assuming it's an offside. I'm assuming we'll see the replay here. Let's have a look. So Diop heads it. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, there's two players offside. So let's let's just forget that that one happens. But we are on top in this game, and we want to continue doing so. They're quite pegged back in their half for the most part. Although, as soon as I've said that, they've started to spring forward a little bit more. And we ourselves are getting pegged back a little bit. If we cannot do that, boys, that would be ideal. Zuma now, looking to get the ball forward. Gets to Christiansen. Over to Ivanisic. Ivanisic. Over to Alvarez. Alvarez doing what he does best. Getting past the last man, but he can't get it past the goalkeeper. That is not ideal in the slightest. If we can put that in the back of the net next time, Julian, that would be lovely. Ah, oh, Should we have gone with Brenner? Should we have gone with Brenner? No, Alvarez is a good striker. He comes good in big matches. Both of them do, to be fair. We would have been not... It would have been a good choice, either of them. We're going to just drop a bit of encouragement to the boys. A little bit of encouragement. Remember, this is a trophy that we won last season. We are defending this trophy, or at least trying to. Trying to defend it. Yeah, Kurt Zuma gets it to Silliman's. Now to Hadji. Madueke. Over to Alvarez. Again, just over the top. And he nearly chips him. From about 30 yards out, he nearly chips him. Newcastle playing a dangerous game at the back. Just passing the ball around. Um, James Justin's having a shocker, by the way. 6.5 in that first half. Uh, we're going to say that one. We're just going to try and psych everyone up. Come on, boys. Let's do this. Let's do this. I think James Justin might not be long for this world. Do you know what? I've just thought he has to be because we don't have another right back on the bench. So, James Justin's carrying on. We don't really want him to. He's going to carry on. Uh, let's get to the second half. I'm tempted to go attacking, but we'll leave it a little bit first. I'm going to demand a bit more from the boys. They have got more to give. They have 100% got more to give. And I would quite like to see it from them, if that's okay. Right. Their goalkeeper kicks off the highlights. Apologies for that. Had a bit of a cough then. Um, yeah, Newcastle start this highlights off. Hopefully, it's going to lead to us getting the ball off of them, running up the other end, and scoring a goal. Instead, we've let Raspadori get past some of the defence here. And if we can just make sure he doesn't score, that would be great. Zuma does great work there and gets the ball to Ivanisic. Sushek now gets it all about to Lafont, who gets it back to Zuma. And hopefully, we can build from the back here. Christiansen now. Looking to drive forward. He does. Gets the ball over the top. Gets it to Ivanisic. Alvarez is with him. Does he need him? Probably because he doesn't end up scoring the goal. But we do have a corner in the 60th minute. And hopefully we can get a goal from this. That would be ideal. Had you to take. Hits it on the 60th minute. Exactly on the 60th minute. And that would have been perfect for a goal. But we do not get one. Madueke does not do well there whatsoever. Rafa manages to steal the ball off of him. That's really poor from Madueke. Really took it for granted that he was going to win that and did not. And now James Justin, who's not having a great game, has to deal with it. He does kind of deal with it, actually. I'll give James Justin credit there. He's not had a good game. And he managed to deal with that quite well. I'm just going to tell him to calm down. Don't want any silly... Uh, any silliness happening. Kurt Zuma does so well there. Zuma's up for this. Right. What is Tillemans doing there? He's just stood there flat-footed and just lets himself be tackled. It's infuriating sometimes. Some of these players should be doing better than they are. But the Newcastle defence... Oh, my God! Alves has the chance. Doesn't take it. What is happening? Right. We need to change something because this is getting infuriating at this point. Ugh. <sighs> Right, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, slightly risky changes. Uh, the first one is Jared Bowen, which is not a risky one. Uh, hopefully he can get back into a bit of form coming off the bench. But we've brought Brenner on, and we've actually taken Hadji off, and we're actually going to have Julian Alvarez playing as a shadow striker for a little bit. And we're just going to see how that works. We might even change it so that he becomes a second striker up there with, um, with Brenner, and we'll get the two of them up there. But I just feel like there's times when we just don't quite look as sharp up front as we need to. So, I'm going to demand a bit more from the players. Let's try and not have to go to extra time again. I would quite like to win this in 90 minutes, if that's okay. Uh, Bone wins the ball with his first action of the game. Tillemans gets it back to Diop. Diop into Sushek. Sushek. Alvarez. Brenner. Bowen. Bowen with one of his first actions. Puts it wide. Boys. We've had so many chances in this game. I can feel what's going to happen. We've got five minutes left of normal time. <sighs> What do we do? Declan Rice is going to go into centre-back. Kurt Zuma is going to go to full-back. I feel like that just covers us a little bit. We'll bring the captain on. Get the captain on for the last few minutes. Demand a bit more as well. 
I feel like we're going to extra time whether we want to or not. Newcastle gone to a funky system. And extra time we go. I'm going to say we're not. I'm not happy with the performance. I'm going to actually throw the water bottle at the attackers because that was genuinely pathetic from the attack. And we're just going to go again. Van more again. Got two strikers up there, which hopefully will help. Oh, it's giving the ball away. Tielemans. Tielemans has been so wasteful in possession today. It's actually been frustrating. And now we've let them get players forward. And they're going to score. Oh, Sushek clears it. Sushek actually clears it. I'm so frustrated with Tielemans. I'm actually... He's had a good racing, but he keeps giving the ball away. And it's so frustrating. And we're just letting them have opportunities now. And it's so annoying. Do we have another change? I feel like we should have another change. Tiago Armada is the player I'm thinking of bringing on. Just because he has a bit of creative spark about him. And although he's not had a bad game in theory, Tillemans keeps giving the ball away. So Thiago Armada's going to come on. I'm going to keep him as a deep line playmaker. I think his tackling isn't terrible. It's pretty terrible. So we're not going to have him as that. We'll have him as a supporting advanced playmaker. I don't normally do um, distributes playmaker at the moment. I usually only consider that when I've got a defensive midfielder as a playmaker. But we're going to go for it now. We're throwing this away. We are genuinely throwing this tie away. We have been so much better than them. But we have got an opportunity here. Brenner is in. And oh my god, their keeper's made a mistake. And somehow Brenner and Alvarez combine. And we are 1 0 ahead finally. In the 107th minute, we're in added time of added time. It's their defender who makes the mistake. Brenner intercepts, gets to Alvarez, Alvarez to Brenner, and Brenner literally hits it through the keeper's arms, and it is 1-0. Well. Well. Goodness me. Okay, so that's a good thing. Let's try and get through the rest of this game, shall we? We've had 30 shots, and we've only scored one goal. We've got an XG of nearly three. I'm actually so frustrated with this team. I demand more from them because we should have scored more than this. I've just done, I've broken the cardinal sin. I've paused when there's a highlight. I just want to see if there's another substitution available to us. Because if there is, I'd quite like to bring Angelino on. No, there's not. Okay. Um, oh, they're about to score, aren't they? No, they're not. Okay. Reading the text at the bottom. Um, right. I kind of want to change things again just to try and shore things up. The problem I've got is we don't really have the players to do that. Okay, that's what we're going with. That's the shape. That's the shape to see out the rest of the game. We're going to drop back to being positive. Uh, we're going to take that off and put dis disciplined on. We're not going to time waste quite yet. But I am considering it. Uh, we are going to take distribute quickly off. We'll keep distribute to playmaker on. Because I feel like that definitely did help us. And we're just going to move the lines back a little bit. I'll try and make things a little bit harder for them. Uh, and that'll do. And that'll do. We've actually got the ball here. Uh, D up. Tries to continue the highlight, but the highlight does, in fact, end. Um, it's been woeful for us to take this long to get into the game and actually score, but we're getting there, hopefully, in our own time now. That'll do. Right. Starts with a goal kick for Newcastle. I think they've gone two at the back again after their brief period with that weird three at the back with the weird lines of midfield. Oh, we just give the ball away. Declan Rice just heads it. Forward kind of aimlessly a little bit, if I'm being completely honest. In my head, I'm already thinking, can we go three at the back? Just try and shore things up. We don't need to, though, because Diop wins the header. And now, we might have a bit of a counter-attack on our hands. And Alvarez does get it into the path of Brenner. Are we going to get another goal? Apparently not, because that was a very good tackle from the Newcastle player. I don't actually know where Newcastle are in the Premier League. We'll find out after the game. We are playing Newcastle next, actually, in the Premier League. Uh, just because the way this game, the game against Newcastle in the league has been postponed a couple of times, and Brenner still can't get past their keeper. This goalkeeper, I don't know anything about him, but he's had a heck of a game. But we finally, finally get past Newcastle United. It is a really, really poor performance from us in front of goal, or it's a really good performance from their goalkeeper. I'm not entirely sure which it is. I'm going to thrash the arms. In fact, I'm going to point the finger and say that one absolutely livid it's taking us that long to get past them but get past them we do uh i want to double check their goalkeeper how good is their goalkeeper he's not even that good he's not even that good 
He's got one cap for Turkey at 26 years old. Doesn't speak English. He's not even that good. He's not even as good as Sergio Rico. And it took us the entire game to get past him. I want to say it's more because of our forward line than anything. Oh, jeez. Well, on the plus side, we're through to the final. On the bad side, it's against bloody Chelsea. But then we beat Tottenham last season, so who knows? Who knows? Uh, Newcastle, how... How are they doing in the league? They're 14th. Well, that's even worse. The fact that it's taken us that long to get past Newcastle and they're 14th in the league with a not very good goalkeeper is actually a little bit frustrating. But do you know what? It doesn't matter. Look at their facilities, by the way. Oh, my God. Mike Ashley absolutely gutted this club, didn't he? The important thing is we're through, and that is the main thing. So, plan of action. The next episode will consist of us playing... It's got to be the Champions League, hasn't it? It has to be the Champions League. I kind of want to do the Liverpool game. But we're in the Champions League semi-final. We're going to do the Champions League. Both legs in the next episode. Which means I'm going to play the Newcastle game and the Liverpool game off camera. Then we'll do the two Champions League games with the Man City game off camera in between. And then we'll come back for a season finale. Premier League season finale. Where we will play Arsenal, Chelsea and Villa. Or as many of those as we need to either win the title. Or at least go down to the wire. Because I think right now there's still what? There's still 3, 6, 9, 12. There's 15 points on the table. We're not 15 points clear. So we've still got plenty of uh, things that could happen. That could go wrong. So I think that's the plan. We'll do that. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. So, with all of that said, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, again, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel as well for more Football Manager awesomeness. I've been Stubo. You've been awesome. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye for now.